Welcome back to yet another Buffalo Bills pregame. I'm Randy, and joined with me today is Dan, and we are ready for the Bills Super Bowl season. For our Super Bowl season! Here at Buffalo Bills pregame, we're here for a preseason game. That's how excited we are for this season upcoming. Um, two games in the books, Bills undefeated in the preseason, like 10, 11 games straight. Uh, I think my big takeaway is how fun it is watching a team who really cares playing against teams who don't. Uh, much uh, uh, very appropriate under the watchful eye of Frank Reich that Matt Barkley leads one of the greatest preseason comebacks I have ever seen. Uh, cementing his position as one of the greatest backup quarterbacks the Bills have ever had, in my opinion. Uh, it was just a fun game to watch, and it's great seeing the Bills enjoy playing for one another, I felt. Uh, any immediate reactions that you had from either of the uh, preseason games we had so far, Colts or Broncos? So I think I, it looks like you know they're really having fun out there, and they're, you know, they're happy to be there. As opposed to you know the teams they've played, especially the Broncos, it seems like they had no interest even coming to Buffalo and even participating in that game. You know, it seems like the Bills have a, a lot of great depth, and you know they're really beating up on these teams. So I know it's preseason, but you know, to to put up the offensive performance they did in a preseason game, I mean it's pretty impressive. The only thing, you know, I think they played somehow played a better offensive game against New England in the playoffs, but you know if you can keep keep those games up for the regular season, you're gonna be unstoppable. It's certainly the attitude that they're bringing to the preseason games like it doesn't need to fall off at all for like the regular season. They seem to be in uh, mid-season form. Um, obviously, my opinion is a little skewed after years and years of being a big advocate for Matt Barkley coming to Buffalo. But uh, do you feel that Keenum outplayed Barkley? Has he earned the second string spot, or uh, is Barkley going to hold on to that position? So I think, you know, Keenum obviously had a bit of a rough game against the Colts, but he definitely bounced back against the Broncos. And I think he just has more experience. You know, he's won playoff games, been around for longer. Um, so I definitely think, you know, they signed him to be the backup. I would be surprised if they had Barkley as the backup going into the season. Uh, either way, it seems like the chemistry in the quarterback room is strong. So I'm just happy that Barkley's back in the franchise. Uh, we've upgraded, it would seem, at the offensive line. We pulled uh, two players from Tennessee, Saffold and Kennisbury. Um, is this the upgrade that the running game needs? Are we going to have a Tennessee-level effectiveness running the ball, if not a commitment to running the majority of the time? Yeah, I definitely think that, you know, getting some of those free agents in, and, you know, obviously they just traded Cody Ford for a fifth-round pick to the Cardinals. Um, but it seems like those guys are really gelling pretty well together. And, um, you know, I think with the addition of James Cook, I think that definitely is going to add another piece to the offense that maybe they didn't have last year. Absolutely. A uh, di different skill set from what uh, Singletary and Moss had for sure. Um, the Cody Ford trade seems on paper right off the bat a good trade. Uh, drafted in, by the Bills in the second round after three seasons, it looked like he was going to be cut or you know being a um, frequent scratch for the games anyway. So the fact that we were able to get fifth round value um, and knowing how well we draft, you know that might be a player that comes in handy in the future. So super excited to see that news recently. Um, and I guess this is also just part of being one of the best teams in football and having one of the best depth charts. Is the wide receiver room is very deep, as good a wide receiver situation as the Bills have had. Um, the top seven right now would seem Diggs, Davis, McKenzie, Hodgins, Crowder, uh, Cumaron, Kum and Stevenson. Uh, do you think all seven of those players make the team? Is there someone I missed that should be on that list? So I think a lot of those guys have been playing really well in the preseason. Uh, I think especially Isaiah Hodgins. Um, I think you know it really come down to you know he's been on the practice squad the last couple of years, he's been injured. Um, but I think it'll come down to him or uh, Jake Kumarel, um, who they keep. So I think they're both valuable players. I think they can both play special teams. Um, yeah, obviously you know McDermott values the special teams players. Um, so it'll be interesting to see. I think it'll come down between those two guys. Um, at the same time, you know, Jameson Crowder hasn't had the greatest preseason so far. Um, you know, they signed him for on free agency, and um, you know, it wouldn't, it won't be the end of the world. If it'll be disappointing if they don't keep him, but it won't be the end of the world as well. You know, that might give another chance to some of the younger guys. Um, to change the other side of the ball, um, a lot of effort is. Uh, 
attention the franchise has gone to improving the defensive line. Uh, so far, does it seem like that those efforts have been paid off? Yeah, absolutely. You know, I think that the way the Bills have been able to adjust, especially you know their secondary without with the possibility of Trey White not being ready for Week One. You know, I think Kair Elam has stepped up. Christian Benford has looked nice. Um, you know, it's interesting. It seems like there's almost a competition for the top cornerback spot while Trey White is going to be gone between Benford and Elam. You know, so it's good to see you know that you have a fifth, sixth round pick being able to fight for a first round or for a starting spot. Do you feel like the Bean McDermott leadership of this team, if a six round player is the best one for that position, are they going to start that six round player, or do you think that because um, the draft capital expended on Elam was so much more, or Dane Jackson, that they'd get automatically get the start over Benford? Yeah, that's a good question. I, I do think that McDermott would go for the guy that was in the sixth round. You know, he would. I think he'd be the guy to ignore, you know, the notoriety of a guy or when he was drafted or anything like that. You know, but we'll, we'll be interested. It'll be interesting to see. And um, you know, there's only been two preseason games, so you know, it's not, it's not a slight on Elam, but um, you know, it'll be interesting to see what they do for that for week one. Hopefully, your trade will be back soon, <laughs> and that will be a non-issue, right? Um, Panthers are the next preseason opponent, uh, bringing together three of the, the, the top three quarterbacks from the 2018 draft. Uh, just funny when in the middle of it you don't see these things coming, that all these, these three players would be on two teams. Um, any other storylines or anything you're looking for in particular to play the Panthers? I mean, you know, obviously McDermott and being their connection with Carolina, it's always interesting to see. I feel like that's almost becoming the uh, they used to play Detroit every year in the preseason. It seems like that's kind of becoming the thing where they play the Panthers every year. Um, but I think that honestly is the biggest storyline. It's just funny that you know, for once the Bills got lucky and got that guy, you know, got the right guy, and now you got these two guys fighting for a starting spot on the Panthers. Um, you know, I think people have talked down on Baker Mayfield a lot. I don't think he's. I think he's definitely better than Darnold, um, and I think he has a decent shot of making the Panthers somewhat decent this year. Well, I had him projected to go to the Bills that draft, so we'll see. This is the uh, the great retribution of Baker Mayfield, the Buffalo Bills pregame show. So, so be it in the preseason if needs be. Um, but we will be back for the first game of the season, the first NFL game of the year, the, the season opener against the Rams, and we cannot wait for this season. Thank you all so much for joining us for Buffalo Bills pregame, and we'll be back real soon.